everyone, this is Leonard. Welcome to the CCM section of this tutorial. Um, we're gonna get into some different things, some different approaches that you can use whenever you're playing CCM. I know a lot of times with uh, CCM songs, the piano and the keys are generally buried underneath the guitars and you can't really hear what's going on. So hopefully with this, you'll be able to grab some different tools so you can have an idea on how to play certain things and what to play when you're playing CCM that'll help add and enhance everything that's going on. Let's get into it. So for this section, we used Israel Houghton's Your Presence is Heaven and then went into some other different things. And we kept everything in the key of C. So basing everything off of the C major scale with C being the one, D being the two, E being the three, F being the four, G being the five, a being the 6 and B being the 7. And uh, if you notice, there's a delay on the piano. And the reason why is because for this particular style of music, delay on the piano seems to work really well. Number one, it forces you to play with space and be intentional about where you put things. So you can't really go all over the place with arpeggios and a bunch of huge voicings all of the time because then it gets really cluttered with the delay in the background. It allows you to play with a pulse and it opens up a lot of melodic options for you. It makes melody lines really nice. And all of that stuff speaks volumes and just works so well over this genre. So since the chords are being outlined in the left hand is basically just A, E, and C. And then you have your four chord, same thing, F, C, A, and then your one chord, C, G, and E. And all that's in your left hand, while your right hand maintains this pattern right here. It's actually a really straightforward pattern. So all I'm doing here is I'm starting for the first part of it with A, C, B, C. So I'm really just, utilize, if I want to call it by the numbers, I'll go six, one, seven, one, and then seven, five, which would be B and G, and then back to the one, seven, one. And that's really the bulk of that pattern. And the second time, we'll go down to the five, to the G to start, instead of going to the six. So we'll go. That's the only difference between the two. And that's being retained over the chord changes in the left hand. So you have. And the one and the three are interchangeable. So whenever you play the one, you can go to the three. This genre, in my opinion, more so than playing other styles, picking your spots is very important. It helps, it can really make or break how the song flows and what direction it goes in. Like where you place your inversions and where you place your movements and your melody lines, it can really take the song to a whole different place if you use it at the right spots. So it's good to kind of leave space for, this, for your ideas to grow and develop as the song goes on. So now that you got the basic part of the intro, I want to show you guys a different left hand technique that you can use to add a little variety and add a little flavor to what's going on there. Um, so here it goes. So 
So I'm still retaining this in my right hand. And in my left hand, I'm basing it off of the chords that I blocked out earlier, but I'm spelling them out in my left hand. So for the first one, I'm doing A, E, G, C, D. Then back to E, then G, then C. So for, that's for that sixth chord. For the four, I'm outlining that as well, starting there. So F, C, A. And then from here, I go G, F, and C, G, A, C. That's happening while I'm doing this. And for the one chord, same thing. C, G, E, then G, D, E, G, C. C, G, E, G, D, E, G, C. So the numbers would be 1, 5, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 1. And that's going on while this is happening in the right hand. So let's see how that sounds all together, slowly. So that's just something you could do to just kind of spice up that with your left hand as like a piano moment thing. So now let's go on to the next section. So we're going five to the four to the one. And that's really the basis of this section. And so what I'm doing for the first part of the five, I'm playing a one over five. So I'm playing a C major over G to a straight G chord, keeping the melody on top. So in my left hand, I'll have G, D, G. And in my right hand, I'll have E, G, C, E. And then I'll resolve the chord down to keeping the same thing in my left hand. And in my right hand, D, G, E, D. And for the four chord, I'll keep that same G chord, 
but in my left hand, I will play an F major chord. So in my left hand, I'll have F, C, and E. So a five over four. Then resolving that in the right hand, keeping the same notes in the left with A in my right, C, F, A, C. A straight up four chord. To the one. And then accenting this melody. Whatever octave I want to do it in. Letting it ring out, really utilizing the delay there. And kind of letting it play for me. Notice how I'm arpeggiating that, that G and that E in my left hand in between the notes with the melody to kind of give it some extra movement as well. Breaking up the chords works really well for this, so it's not just stagnant. Any melodic stuff works really well as well. 